What's going on everyone? Today we're going to be taking a look at American Farming, the brand new mobile farming game released by Squad Built Incorporated, owned by none other than The Squad on YouTube. This man's got it figured out. This is looking to be a good game. You can get it on the App Store for $7.99 or the Google Play Store. So let's get on into it. So you're going to start out here. Um, you got your settings on the main screen that you can uh, change for your volume and your day speed, quality, and resolution. But start farming. You're going to hit new game. We're going to be loading this up here. And you have is the option to start out on Pine Valley Farms or Cedar Creek Farms. Um, so Pine Valley Farms is going to be kind of more of your livestock side of things, whereas Cedar Creek Farms is going to be more of your crop production side of things, as well as um, a hog farm. So we're going to choose Cedar Creek Farms here today. So they give you some pictures of it. So we're going to choose farm. And now it is going to load up our saved game. So then the first thing that you're going to get once you load into your game is going to be character customization. This is the character customization screen. You can customize your appearance here. When you are finished customizing your appearance, press save to continue your adventure. So I think today, so you got all these items. Some of these are locked and some of them are DLC items. Um, throughout here we're just going to hit owned for now because these are going to be the ones you're going to start off with and be able to use right off the beginning. I think today we're going to go with an unverfurf hat. Hair, we'll stick with that. Don't have any sunglasses. Looks like a good face. Um, we'll go kind of a beard. Uh, brown beard? Yeah, that'll look good. Um, shirt. We'll probably go with the unverfurf sweatshirt jeans boots and that's that's pretty much it so we'll hit save there and then it says continue with tutorials and we're gonna continue with tutorials today because we're gonna read them out for you help you out fairing pen sows will produce piglets here piglets will turn into wiener pigs and then can be moved into the hog barn now over here at the hog barn hogs and wieners pigs are housed here Keep them fed to gain weight the fastest. Over here is the field planting. Planting this field has a secondary tillage pass and it is ready to be planted. And then over here is our corn field. So this corn field is ready to be harvested. Use the wagon to transport the grain when the combine is full. Over here we have our grain site. Grain can be stored and dried here. Now it's going to take us a ways away, but we got our co-op. Grain can be sold here. Seed, fertilizer, bales, and animal feed can also be purchased at the co-op. And the co-op fill point, seed and fertilizer, can be purchased here. Now we're going to go ways. Wow, that's a little bit of ways. Okay, we got the dealership now. Equipment can be purchased here. Access to the dealership can be in person or through the global shop icon. So there's a little bit of money sign there by the door. Um, that's probably how you'll enter the shop menu from there. We have the livestock market over here. All livestock can be purchased or sold at the livestock market. So this is kind of the town area throughout here. Hints, some points of interest have a question mark Run up to these markers on foot to show hints and tips. Hints can be turned off in the settings menu. Enjoy the game. Remember to check out the help menu if you get stuck. So here is our character. We can turn around him here. We got. We can walk. We can run. Um, this is our, our house over here. We got our German Shepherd down there. Um, right above my head it says Jan. I think it's January, but I really don't know how to change that or do anything about that. Um, everything's green, and it ha I'm, I'm planting and harvesting right now. But if we hit that, it'll take us to the shop so we can go to the dealership. We got a whole bunch of tractors. Some of them are DLC items, so you're probably going to have to purchase some. But there's still a lot of nice-looking tractors here, case and versatile trucks um, and semi-trucks, harvesters, 
planters and drills. Got some primary tillage equipment here and some secondary tillage. So kind of your cultivators and speed disks and stuff like that. Grain handling, we got some grain carts, a semi-trailer, and some gravity wagons we can get. Fertilizer applicators, we got a Case IH Patriot sprayer, we got some DLC items there, um, a anhydrous applicator, and some other, a, a nice fertilizer wagon, got some manure sprayers and everything there too. Livestock, got some trailers for livestock as well as a feed mixer. Some trailers. Got multiple different trailers through there as well as a low boy. Attachments. So you got your bale, spears, as well as your um, buckets. And then off road, all of those are going to be paid DLC items. So you're going to have to go purchase those if you would like to use those. You do get $30,000 when you start off in the game, so that is pretty good. We'll go back up there. You have realty, so that's going to be all your fields. Um, so you can just click on a field and it'll give you the information. So it'll give you how many acres it is um, and what the value is. So like this one field I have right now, I could sell for $20,000 technically. Um, it is two acres. And then we have this other field that's four acres, which I get 42000 for. And then the little dot, um, ooh, you can zoom in. This little dot here is the farm place. So the farm place is valued at $150,000. So pretty nice throughout there. Kind of a look at your map. So you can kind of just test out through there. You got by crop type, only one field has crop right now. It's our corn field. Growth, ready for harvest. Fertilize, it was not fertilized at all. That's uh, your land purchasing and then locations. Um, you got all your different numbers through there. Hog starter farm, cattle starter farm, cattle farm, dairy farm, grain farm, hog farm or hog barns, bin sites, um, livestock yard, creamery, elevators, and bale purchase, uh, dealership, RCC, and the towns. So a whole bunch of stuff through there. Equipment, it's going to show us where all of our equipment is. So when you start it, you get a Case Hedge Farmall M, um, Case Axial 88 series, uh, starter truck, International 1206, International 1066 Narrow, Loader bale spear, gooseneck stock trailer, Kilbros wagon, fertilizer wagon, Case H 490 disc, Case H corn row, eight row corn head, and a Case H 955 planter. Animals kind of gives you that right now. We don't have any animals. Uh, storage we have two bins. They all hold. They both hold 10,000 bushels, um, and we have nothing in them right now. Markets for your corn, soybeans, wheat, beef pork and milk and then you got all your settings throughout there I, I really like this you got snapshot mode so you can hit that and get good YouTube thumbnails um, it'll take all the HUD off and everything so that's that's a pretty cool feature in there um, you can also buy coins if you want to that'll switch you go first person if you want to um, so that's pretty cool you got your tabbing through equipment there. So that's pretty good too. So honestly, why not get into it? Let's go harvest some corn here. So we got our Case H 2144 Axial Flow. So your little controls here, this uh, first one on the left here is going to swing your auger out. And then the next button it puts the head down and up. Then you also have a disconnect um, button too. You got your transmission over here on the right side so we can reverse. There is a neutral one, two, and three, and you can also put it into uh, road gear with turtle and or with rabbit mode. So throughout here, you also have your diesel in the top right corner. So let's go ahead and put our corn head down, put her in first gear, and let's get rolling. I am actually going to switch one thing here quick. We're going to run tilt steering because it is a lot easier, I feel. So, we can run first gear. First gear is as fast as we can run six mile an hour harvesting, which that's actually pretty fast. You got your corn filling up there in the tank, and I really like this. We have AI helpers. We can 
hire a helper to do the headlands and then the rows of the field rows only or headlands only so they will actually do the headlands which is really cool that is something we do not have um, it's kind of like crossplay if you if you're familiar with that from farming simulator uh, the farming simulator games so that's pretty cool we're harvesting our corn here um, we'll we'll just keep on going here for a while get some of the headlands knocked out this field's about four acres this game is looking pretty cool so far I haven't really dug very far into it um, but it's looking pretty good so far so we do have thirty thousand dollars right now and I don't really know what I would like to kind of invest that into I'm thinking maybe we're just gonna hire him right now farmhand Dorothy is harvesting our headlands right now um, Realty, I kind of want to invest some of our money into another field maybe, but I don't really know how much they're going to cost. We have $30,000, so not very much right now, and I don't know if there's going to be anything we can even afford for that price. We could afford that one all the way down there. What about that one? Nope, that one's a little bit more expensive. Um, we could purchase that one. It's a little bit of ways away, but I'm willing to do that about that one yep 56 grand I almost think we go ahead and purchase that field it's two and a half acres why not we need some more ground here so we're you will not be able to sell this field later why why can I not sell the field oh we cannot sell fields in the game that's that's something we just figured out. Maybe we don't want to purchase that right now. I don't know why. Oh, it will not let us sell. So that is a little bit of a downside. It won't let you sell the fields after you buy them. So maybe we'll just hold on to our $30,000 right now. We're going to stop this helper. We have about a half tank of corn right now. So, things are filling up here pretty quickly. Once we get going here, once we fill up our combine, we'll go grab our gravity wagon. Beautiful views here. Very good quality on the graphics. I I'm liking this game so far. So, we do also have our inside view here from the combine. So, we're first person harvesting right now. I like that they added that in. So I don't think we have like a fertilizer spreader or anything right now. So I kind of want to have that be one of our first purchases. In fact, I might just go ahead and purchase that right now. We're just going to stop here quick. So I just want to see how purchasing stuff goes in the game here. So let's see, what category was that? In? Fertilizer applicators. This thing right here. Pretty nice looking American fertilizer spreader requires 30 horsepower. I think we got that between one of our tractors. $12,500. We will purchase that. There we go. We'll have to go pick that up with one of our tractors sometime. We are going to probably be full of corn here pretty soon. So yielding pretty good. That's, that's good to see. And we are just about going to be full of corn here. Um... Pretty good load. We swung the auger out. Don't know what it's going to do when it stops. If the combine keeps going like in Farming Simulator, what happens? We're going to find out here. Oh, it just stops harvesting. But it does not put the head up, which is kind of nice. But that's going to be a full load right there. Whoa. So we'll probably tab over. That's our pickup truck that's on our disc that's our oh my fertilizer did we already have a fertilizer trailer did I just buy another one and now I have two how does that work yep I okay yep we we bought another one I didn't realize I didn't think we already had one well sell yep we sold that we lost two thousand five hundred dollars whoops well I guess we learned I didn't think we had a fertilizer trailer already guess we did this is our 
1066 right there. This is our Farmall Super M with our Kill Bros gravity wagon. So we're going to take that. Ooh, we do have loader controls too. That's cool. Also something we don't really have in mobile farming simulator games. We're going to put it up to turtle speed here. Or not turtle speed, rabbit speed. Put it up to 5th gear. 6th gear. This thing gets scooting in high gear. We're on 17 right now. Now I don't know how full we're going to get here. Oh, I'm in my corn. Still getting kind of used to some of the driving here, but we'll get it figured out eventually. Get turned around, and there we go. We got the load unload from the combine. So not a full load there. Pretty decent load though. Actually, I didn't look. Is there? Does it tell us how much? Oh yeah, a little bit over half a load there. Probably gonna end up going and selling that load first. Going up, selling that load. After uh, I already messed up. Lost us some money. Let me know if you guys are enjoying this uh, series. We're probably going to keep it a series here um, on American Farming. Try and grow our farm. Be learning new things about the game as we go, too. So, I'm having a lot of fun so far. It's a good game. I was excited that it finally came out today. Finishing up, we'll probably be good on our end passes here after this, after we finish this up, and I'll probably just start running straight passes back and forth. There we go, we'll pick up the head. See how fast we can get this thing going. 22-ish almost. That is pretty good. Our combine in real life goes like 20. Ooh, a little bit fast there. Okay, um, put our head down. If we go in here then, we can follow, kind of follow the rows as we go through, which I'm real good at right now, as you can tell. But our rows don't quite go straight here, so uh, we'll pick that up. I'll probably just go ahead and start working here, going back and forth, getting the field knocked out. Okay, well, we're getting a pretty full load here, so I'm probably going to go take it down, dump it in our cart here, um, our wagon, because it will probably fill up our little Kilbro's gravity wagon. And then we're probably going to try and figure out where we can sell this thing, and i got to get it in neutral in the right spot. Nope. Crap. There we go. See how full we can get there. Oh yeah, nice and full. Well, we're gonna hop out of our combine here. Go get on the farm all M. Um, we need to figure out how to sell stuff first. So corn, it's um, it's about as low as we can possibly sell it for right now. But we're gonna take it over to the main elevator. Um, if we can figure out where that is. Where is the main elevator? Is this the main elevator or what is this? Well, I don't really know which one is the main elevator and which one's Yield Mill. So we're just going to start heading out. There's one that's not too far out of our driveway. So we're just going to try that one out here first. And if that doesn't work out, then we'll go take it to the other one that's really far away. But, like I said, we can get this thing scooting 17 mile an hour here. This will probably be the only load that we sell. Everything else I'll probably put in the bin. But I just wanted to kind of test things out right now. Um, sell our first load of corn here. We probably only have about one more load of corn. But head out the driveway here. Ooh, that was probably a little bit sketch. So I believe... We go this way. Up the road a little bit. Maybe I have another driveway that goes out closer here. I honestly couldn't tell you. That was my first time driving through our yard. So I probably took the long way. Because I bet you there's a driveway right here by the house. Yeah, there is. Okay. 
we took a really long way we'll just get going down here the road here this these silos up over there is one of the cell points now I don't know if that's the right cell point so we're gonna find out nope that building says ye old mill on it okay that is not the right place we want to take it because it is actually prices have changed a little bit yield mill is only two cents less so honestly at this point we're just gonna take it here because the other cell point is really far away so we'll get pulled in here um, I'm assuming we're just gonna pull right here pull over the grate now corn quantity 250 bushel mark price 20% moisture yep we'll sell we'll see how much money we get from that oh okay so that button takes off okay so get it sold it's about eleven hundred dollars or so from that trailer load of corn so prices are pretty realistic I wonder what does this do? Can we buy a crop from here? Ooh, that's cattle feed and hog feed. That's pretty good. I, I like that, that, that we can buy food bulk right there. Well, we're going to be heading on back to our farm now. We really don't have that far to go because if I would have been smart and took the right way the first time, we literally uh, would have been about there. Let's see, how high can we make this go? Ooh, that's actually pretty good tilt it back not too bad well our field is right here I, th the ditch looks a little bit not great yep that was a little bit rough but I almost hit my corn again we'll get this brought back over here I missed two stocks right there but there is no crop destruction in the game so I'll bring it actually I'm probably just gonna how easy is it to back one of the... Yep, not easy. I'm probably just going to leave the trailer over here because we only have this part of the field to go. So we'll just leave that there. Nope, I put it in reverse now. We'll tab over to the combine. I'm going to get the rest of it unloaded onto here if I can get the transmission in the right spot. There we go. We are all unloaded. Well, everyone, that is probably going to be it for this one. I hope you enjoyed first look at American Farming. First episode we got here. We'll explore more of the map as we keep going. Um, but got part of our cornfield harvested here today, so I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, we're on the race to 1,000 subscribers. We're trying to hit that by the end of the calendar year, so we got a little bit over a month to do that. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and also consider subscribing. If you have any comments or questions about the game, you can leave those down in the comments section below. I hope you enjoyed this video. This is Model Deer Farmer, and I'll see y'all in the next one. Hey, what's going on, everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today on American Farming. I did have another episode recorded um, before this one, but uh, the file, video file got corrupt. So I do not have that one. For us today so it is nighttime we got our fields worked I've been doing some playing around we just got this uh, field right behind us planted which was our big field that we were harvesting corn on I am playing on controller today because um, it seems to be a lot easier to play this game on controller um, so we're gonna be doing that but we are going to come over here and get going planting the only downside to uh, my Xbox controller here is it has a lot of stick drift, so bear with me here. But we'll get the planter unfolded, put in the ground. 12 row planter. So we'll do the pass around the outside here. And then probably hire a helper for the rest of the field. This isn't a very big field. Um, but we're going to get going on another project after that. So I got a helper hired um, on that other field. We have some P and K in our spreader today. I already spread urea on both of our fields and then we went to the co-op 
to empty out our urea, which I'll show you how to do after we finish up with P and K here. Uh, but we, we will come out to the field. I believe this should work. We planted this field. The only thing I don't like about the planting texture is that the crops are already growing right after you plant them. Ah, there we go. So now we are getting our P and K spread out. For a good corn crop in the game, you need both urea, which is your nitrogen fertilizer, as well as P and K. P and K is gonna help with it as well. So that is our second product that we're getting applied to this field here. And then we will over on the other field too, once we get done with this one. Also, as far as equipment goes, since we uh, last were on here on the last episode, I just ended up getting another Kilbro's gravity wagon. That's pretty much all I've done. Um, we've, I sold the in-game cattle trailer uh, because we're not gonna be doing much on our pig farm right now. Uh, so I just went ahead and sold that just to get us a little bit more money right now because I would like to pick up this field that's straight ahead of us. It's right next to our farm. It's like 70 something thousand dollars. Um, so we'll get there eventually. I did, uh, I've been playing around a little bit. So I actually did harvest both of these fields uh, off screen. And the corn is in our grain bins over there storing. So we will be able to sell that when the price is higher. We also uh, dried it down because when you harvest it off the field, it comes off the field at 20% moisture. We were able to dry it down to, with the dryer function to about 15% moisture. So then we'll be able to get a lot better product or a lot better price for our product at the co-op once we take it there. So we finished up with our headland pass. So we're probably just gonna get going back and forth and straight passes now. Um, and I would assume by the time we get this field done that the other helper will probably be done with the other field planting it. Honestly, even though this little Farmall M doesn't have that much horsepower and is a pretty small tractor, it is handling this spreader very well. The spreader requires 30 horsepower, I think, and the Farmall ends up having 40, so it works out just fine. I would like to tr try out doing some soybeans on American farming here, but the only thing that's kind of keeping me from doing that right now is that I feel like I looked and a soybean head is like $60,000 right now, and like we're not even close to that. But I do think that our planter that we have could end up planting soybeans. I'd just like to see in comparison uh, if they make us a little bit more money than corn because I know they have a higher higher price at the elevator but they also there's not as much of them um, yield wise but I would just like to try them out here so one of these times definitely after playing with a controller for a while on this game I definitely would say that that's the way to go it seems like it's a lot easier to play the game with the controller I just I don't know my fingers all over the screen trying to see and sometimes it not thinking that I'm actually touching the screen made it a little bit hard to go in a straight line. I do like with the controller, it's just like playing Farming Simulator on my Xbox. It gets me straight lines and I can kind of just be able to see the whole screen while I'm playing. Okay, and there we go. We wrapped up with our bigger field here. It's like four and a half acres or so, I think. So we're probably going to head over here to our other field, which is a small two acre or so field on the other side of the yard. And I think the tractor and planter is probably about done. There's our second gravity wagon as well. One thing to note is that you can only hire one AI helper per field at a time. I figured that out because I was trying to run two separate helpers, um, but that does not work. But looks like he's about to finish up here just on the last pass of planting corn. Also, if none of you guys have noticed so far throughout this video, it is nighttime right now. Um, so the actual the actual look of the game, uh, just looking with, if you're looking right now, you wouldn't be able to tell it's nighttime. Uh, so that is, I, I don't know. I don't know if I like it or if I don't like it, but I, uh, so far I haven't found a way to turn on lights, but in the mobile farming simulator games, the lights turn on automatically on the equipment. Um, but the sky does look very nice though. Just about wrapping up the field here. And there we go, we are done. Now I'm gonna show you something that I, figured out it was pretty cool um, that I ended up showing in 
video that I recorded that then corrupt. So we're just going to go ahead and show you guys again. So we got all of our P&K put down on our cornfields. So now we don't need any more. The next thing we're going to put on is urea um, next time we plant. So I'm going to go show you guys how we can get rid of this P&K because I have a third of a spreader full that I don't really need. So we're going to come over here to the Ye Old Mill, which is pretty close to our farm. And that's where we picked up our P&K from from this little stack of pallets over here. Now I've been really good at hitting, ooh, I didn't hit the pallets with the forks this time, so that's good. Um, but so we can come over here and then we hit the little shopping cart with like the green button and it is selling all of our P&K right now, which is pretty cool. So we sold 1,800, almost $1,900 of P&K that we didn't need. So I like that feature. We'll head back on over to the farm now and get this probably just pulled somewhere on the yard maybe put in a shed because we aren't going to be needing this anymore for a while. Now we're kind of just in a waiting phase. Oh, there's the stick drift again. Kind of in a waiting phase because we only have two fields right now. Like I said, I would be able to like, I would like to be able to expand to a third field, um, but don't quite have the funds to do that right now. And from what I've been looking, I haven't found anywhere we can take out a loan. Um, so we're just going to have to keep building up our farm up. We'll get the tractor and planter also brought it back up to the farmyard. There we go. We got that part there. Come over here. Find our tractor. We'll go ahead and fold it up. It's taking a little bit of getting used to for the controls on the Xbox controller with the game. But I think once I get used to them, it should be fairly easy. So this is our narrow front 1066 tractor and as you can see it's starting to get to be morning time on the farm so we'll get this pulled over here it does get a little bit lighter during the uh, day just park that in the shed there for now now I'm going to show you guys over here how to dry your crops now I haven't put any crops in there it does cost a little bit of money well I have crops in the bins but not since I had dried it last time so you're gonna come over to this little fire icon right here and then there's a fire icon on the left side of your screen and then it'll say farm number four bin site dryer activated which it's not gonna do anything right now because I don't have anything in there nothing new to dry but then if we go to storage we have 1263 bushels of corn and it is at 15% moisture because I have dried it down. So we can make a fair amount of money here. Um, whenever our markets are good, which I don't think they're very good right now, looks like kind of July is our prime time to uh, sell the corn. Uh, we'll have to haul a whole bunch of loads in once we get to that point. Right now it is February on the farm, apparently, even though everything's green, but that's all good. Our uh, corn's growing here. But not much else we can do for right now. Kind of just got to wait for our little corn to grow now. So that's probably going to be it for this one, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, if you did, leave a like on the video and think about subscribing. It doesn't cost you anything. But we're on the race to 1,000 subscribers by the end of the calendar year. So you got a little bit over a month to do that. So if you enjoyed like and subscribe also if you have any comments or questions about american farming or anything that i showed you today you can leave those down in the comment section below i hope you enjoyed this video of american farming episode two should have been three but hope you enjoyed and i will see you all in the next one what's going on everyone model deer farmer back with you today on american farming now as you can see we have a little bit of money now and I can't figure out how to get into the piece of equipment um, there we go finally in our combine here but we're gonna get going we got some more corn to harvest today um, I've been playing a little bit and so I may have made some more not very great financial decisions because you remember how I sold that animal trailer because I thought we weren't going to be doing animals? Well, I bought it again.
because I decided that hogs are a pretty good source of income as you and you can see that by looking at how much money we got we got ninety three thousand dollars right now so we're gonna do some spend in here today we got our four mother pigs here in the pharaoh barn or whatever they call it um, it is called the pharaohing pen so we got our four mothers in there. They're not doing anything right now because they don't have any corn. That's our weak spot of the operation right now. We don't have enough feed, which is where some of this money that we have is going to come into play. And then over here in our uh, hog barn, right now we got some animals in here. Uh, they're not really fully ready to go yet because neither of my barns have feed right now so that's why we are getting rolling on harvesting some corn at the moment but I would assume that our combine is going to be full here pretty soon because normally he gets about to this corner and then he's full I also did end up selling off another one of our gra one of our gravity wagons that we also just had bought so another great financial decision there because when we're hauling it to our hog barns, we don't really need all that much storage all the time because we're literally only going right over these barns right here. But we'll grab this load off the combine here and I'll show you what we do to make the money with the hogs. So we got our half load of corn now that we're going to be going. Taken over here to our farrowing pen. Actually, nope, never mind change my mind we're gonna be taking it over to the hog barn because I got some of these that I want to get going get out of here to start fresh so we're gonna unload it over here into the silos at the hog barn so now they should be able to eat and gain weight the next load that we get we'll put over here in the farrowing pen so now if we look here over on our hog barn they got some food in there we're gonna sell them when they get about to 325 pounds um, weight and a lot of them are at 180 to 190 pounds right now. So it looks like our combine grain tank is full again. So we'll come over here, get him unloaded. We're going to take this over to the farrowing pen so our four mothers can start having more baby piglets so we can move them over into the hog barn once they're old enough. Okay, there we go. We got our load of corn. So we're going to be bringing that over here onto the other side where we got our silos feed silos there we go get unloading that in there now they have food so eventually they'll start to make piglets now so I told you guys that we we're probably gonna be buying another field here and I think we're going to do that right now so we were wanting the field that's literally right next to our farm 7.2 acres $73,000 it's going to literally double the size of our farm, so that is good. So we're going to go ahead and purchase. Yes, we want to purchase the field. Now that field is ours. So now that field is ours, we're going to go over. We don't need the disc hooked up right now because the field is already worked. So I need to go find my planter now. We're going to go plant some corn over in that field. So we can just, whoops. So we can just keep our whole cycle of crops going here. There we go. We're going to get the planter lowered down. And we are going to get a helper going on that field. Now, we're about out of seed, so I don't know what's going to happen once we get to that point. We also have our P and K here to spread on the field after we get it planted. So I think what we're going to do here is we're going to get working on putting our P and K down on this field here. I really don't like that you can't hire a helper with this right now. It is, I don't know if it's just broken or if that's how they made the game. So you can't hire a helper with this. So we're going to have to run the P and K on this field ourselves. The combine's still working over there, harvesting corn. So we'll go and load him whenever we need to. There we go, wrapped up our PNK on our new field here. I'm guessing the combine's probably full, so we're gonna go unload him. And the planter, still rolling. Well everyone, our hogs aren't quite ready to sell yet. 
we're gonna have to wait a couple months and ideally you want to wait to sell them until may because that's when the markets are about best so that's probably going to be it for this one guys i hope you enjoyed i kind of showed you a little bit how to get your hog operation rolling get it started here uh but we'll get into selling them next time they need to gain about 100 pounds yet so we'll wait till may and they'll be all ready to go but i hope you enjoyed this one everyone if you are enjoying the videos on american farming let me know by hitting that like button and subscribing to the channel it means a lot and we are trying to hit 1000 subscribers by the end of the year so let's try and hit that we're getting pretty darn close so i think we can do it but if you guys have any comments or questions you can go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below we just wrapped up this field here we're going to take this back up to the farm Thanks for watching today, everyone, and this is Model Deer Farmer. I'll see y'all in the next one. What's going on, everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today on American Farming. We are on the new update of the game. We got an update uh, the day that I'm recording this. So, we got it updated, and we got one helper going just now on planting corn, and we're going to get the 1206 here hooked up to the disc so we can get going on our other field over here there was a couple fixes in the update that came out um, most importantly to me anyway is that the feed wagon will uh, will hold hog food now which was a problem that I ran into before because I purchased it and then couldn't do anything with it, so I sold it. So that was pretty great, but we are going to now take this tractor and probably get working on fertilizing more stuff, which is kind of too bad. Maybe we can try and see if after the update now, if a helper works with this thing. But, to be honest, I highly doubt it. Well, apparently two farmhands is the maximum amount of farmhands you can have at a time. So, I guess I'm stuck spreading urea right now. Hey, look. He's, uh, somewhat doing it now. Because I unhired our corn planter. Because he is out of seed. And he was just still going even though he was out of seed so we're gonna get him raised up folded up and we'll head into town not really town i guess just over to the ye old mill over here or whatever to pick up some seed i don't know why he skipped so much on the edge there not a fan of that right now but we'll swing on over here get our seed picked up yeah he missed a lot wow wasn't doing that before. Well, from the start of this game, the cedar didn't really have that much seed in it to begin with. And I still, this is the first time that I've had to fill up the cedar. So I guess that's pretty good. Um, holds, you, you don't use that much seed, I guess. It's probably fairly expensive though. I guess we'll find out here. Let's see here. We got seed $60 a bushel. I don't know how many bushels this holds. The $60 seems like a fairly large amount. Well, that costs us three grand a seed to fill up the tanks on this planter here. We'll get heading back on over to the field that we were in and get him set up to get going again. What I'm probably going to do right now is just run the planter here because we can only have two farmhands and I don't really want to go spread urea right now because I've had enough of that for right now. So. We're just going to run the corn planter here on the field. You know what, guys? I get bored pretty fast, so we went ahead and hired a helper over on the corn planter. And I'm going to finish up disking the rest of this cornfield with the 1206. And there we go. That field is wrapped up. So we're going to just go up here, probably unhook this, because we're done with needing the disc for now. Probably get it hooked up here to the wagon, because that's going to be the next thing we're going to be needing. 
and that did not uh, not come off. Probably because I hit the farm sim control to try to detach it, and that doesn't really work. Now, so I turned time up a little bit so we can get going here. You can see that our four mother sows had piglets. So pretty soon here in a couple months, they'll be weaned off, and we'll be able to get them moved on over into the hog barn over here. Also, here come May, we should be able to sell a good number of our hogs well we only have 17 so it's not gonna be that much but we will be able to get rid of those because we will have them all weighted up here pretty soon in the coming months also i'll show you guys here we did get a new grain cart in the update today so this is the brent v series grain cart so we can get the v800 wheeled v1 or v1100 wheeled v1100 with tracks in the v1500 with tracks and we can get all of those in a red or green version. So looking pretty nice there. Definitely we'll have to get that grain cart once we get a little bit more money here on the farm. So our hogs all hit 325 pounds. So we're going to be taking them down over to the livestock yard here pretty soon. But I think, nope, our helper for corn planting gave up again. I don't know, I'm, I'm not really liking the helper right now. He's not really doing good stuff. Oh, rows only, just do your job. But we're gonna, we got all of our 17 hogs loaded up here. So we're gonna take them down over to the livestock dealer because before you know it, it will be May. So the hog dealer, not the hog dealer, the Livestock yard is sort of down by the dealership area, so you're going to kind of go towards where you would for the dealership. Uh, but just a little bit past that is where you will find the livestock yard. So here's the dealership. We keep going past that, past the co-op. It's going to be a blue building down here that we take our pigs to sell them. There we go. We just pull right in there. And we are going to sell all. So we made $3,900 pretty much off that load. And that wasn't even a full load because I didn't have all of them in there. And now we'll head on back to the farm. So this helper is really starting to annoy me on this field here. Just one thing after another that gets messed up. So I'm just going to try to line them up right here. Try to do headlands and rows. See if he can just start over and retry. While on the other hand, we got this guy that I believe is done with this field. Actually, we'll check our map here quick. Yep, so that field is done. We'll probably head over to our small field quick and just get that taken care of since we all know that things are going very well on this field over to our right so now we're also going to take our truck over here we got more little pigs that are weaned so we're going to load those we're going to unload those over here into our hog barn and also if we take a look here at our animals page it's going to show that our four sows are too old to give birth. They can only give birth to about 13 litters of hogs or whatever you call hogs. Um, so what we're gonna need to do here is load mothers and we're going to go sell them at the livestock market and Go pick us up four new ones. So we're going to come down here. We're going to sell all four of these. We got $436, which that's actually pretty good. That was more than I was expecting to get from those. And now we're going to go over here to the buy area. We are going to buy sows. We're going to purchase four of them 
right there, $411, which I believe that was less than what we just sold our last four for. So that's, it's not much more, but that's kind of surprising that we sold them more, for more than what we bought four new ones. The only thing in this game, I wish we could go a little bit faster than 50 mile an hour with the pickup trucks. It seems just, it seems kind of slow, especially when the signs say that it's a 55 mile an hour speed limit. But it is what it is right now, I guess. Okay, looks like you got done fertilizing this field over here. And the only one that we have left to put urea on is the one over here that the helper is really screwing up on. And... I think he finally is maybe getting there. He finally might be starting the rows now. Um, but it's been a little bit of a slow process on this field here so far today. But at least we got our hogs sold up. Made some money off of that today. We got some new weaned pigs put into the hog barn over here. And we got some new mothers. So overall, it was a pretty good day on the farm, but it's probably going to wrap it up for today's episode on American Farming, guys. I hope you enjoyed another episode selling off some of our pigs to make some money, but I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, give it a, the video a like. Also, subscribe to the channel. Uh, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I will see y'all in the next one. What's going on, everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today on American Farming. Now, uh, sorry about my voice if it isn't the greatest. A um, little bit of a cold here, but try and bear with me here. We're going to unload the combine here. I know we have to go in the corn, not ideal. But in the game here, we do not cause crop destruction. So, we're going to get the combine unloaded here. And take it over to our hog barn so we can get our hogs fed. So we got a good amount of hogs here that I think we'll uh, be able to get going here to market in a little while. Get unloading that. I did uh, slow time down for right now. Because this field over here, we, uh, part of the corn's ready to harvest and we're still planting some of the field. So, we went ahead and slowed time down on that. Now, for some reason, the combine is not going, so we're going to have to resume last. Nope, the helper still does not want to do anything. That's pretty cool. Um, see if the helper wants to do stuff now. No, okay, that's dandy. Well, I guess we are just going to have to harvest the rest of the field here by ourselves. Because the helper does not want to anymore. Well, I got a helper going right now, so hopefully he stays. See, this is the thing here. We kind of have to work around. Um, we're going to go down to the other end of the field to see if there's actually anything left on this field. Ah, there is. Throw the planter down. Just a little bit left to go here on the field. Now, I have had some comments saying, when are you going to get a new tractor? I'm trying right now. We're trying to get the funds. I'm hoping with our hog operation that we can get there um, to possibly buy a new tractor here pretty soon. There we go. Got our planter folded up here. I don't think we have another field to plant right now. We are going to need to get tillage rolling on the big field over here once our helper finishes harvesting. Shouldn't be too long. Well, except for the fact that they're just uh, not really doing what they're supposed to. Um, we're going to try something different. Since it wants to go that way, maybe if we set it on this side of the field, maybe it will start going the right way. 
Let's check to see if we got any more. Nope, not yet. We do not have the rest of our hogs. Still need a little bit more time. I would say by May, though. They are going to be ready to go. Which May is the best time of year to sell hogs. They are the best price then. So that will work out great. Looks like the combine's about got a full load of corn here. So we'll grab that. So I believe for the tractor that I've been wanting to get, it's going to cost us a little bit over $100,000, which we're definitely not there right now, and we're probably not going to get there today, but we are going to get closer here. We are, we got plenty of corn that we're feeding our hogs with here, so we will have a load of hogs that we'll be able to get out of here and sell here pretty soon. Now also I want to try something new. I want to like load up a full load of wiener pigs from the livestock auction into our trailer after we sell our full grown pigs instead of having to put them through the uh, farrowing pen over there. I just want to see if we could uh, maybe be a little bit more efficient with our operation that way. So now since we're going to be trying that new thing where we pick up our wiener pigs and bring them straight back to our farm instead of putting them through the farrowing pen. Right now, we're just getting all the corn we can put into the hog barn. So then, once we get a whole trailer load of them in there, we'll be sitting good with the amount of corn to keep them fed and get them up to weight. Well, we just got one pass to go here that the helper did not get to on this big field here. And then we will get moved over to the field right behind us there and get the disc rolling on this field to keep crop keep it so we're like pretty much about constantly producing more corn so we can keep our hog operation up and running. I'm all I'm also noticing now that our combine's about out of diesel here, so we better bring it over here to the diesel tank before we run out and get it all filled up. Well, it costs us about $110 there to get that all filled up and ready to go. So we'll get turned around here and get a farmhand rolling on this small field here. Get this one going here on a help or two. And now I'm going to probably unload this here quick. And check to see if our hogs are up to full weight yet or not. And I crash into the auger. Always a good thing to do with your pickup truck. Looks like we got a whole bunch of hogs here that are up to weight. Looks like all of them will be. So there we go. We got all of them unloaded here and into our truck. So we will be able to go sell these hogs here once it gets into May. Getting on down here towards the animal dealer. We don't have a full load, but we got a partial load here, so we will uh, get over here to the selling area and sell all. That made us $14,000. And now what I want to try here, so I don't know how many Okay, so I think we can fit 86 full-grown ones in here. So I think what we're going to do is we're going to buy 86 wieners. Purchase. $951. Yep, that works. And we're going to just take those back home to the farm. And just get them put straight back into our hog farm. Hog barn, I mean. Because for 951 bucks, if we can make about 20 grand out of this and save not having to deal with the farrowing pen, I think it'll be a pretty good investment. Also, our combine is full, so we better go take our wagon over and get it unloaded here so it can get back to work. Now, we're definitely going to take this corn and go get it put in our hog barn because with 86 wiener pigs in there now, they're going to be eating a lot of corn. So we're definitely going to need as much as we can get and actually right now we're maxed out on capacity so we'll have to wait a little while 
Uh, that helper's still doing good. We are going to need to fertilize that field here after we get it worked. So before I was thinking about getting the MX series tractor. Um, but looking at it a little bit more closely now, that's not really going to do us anything. Because if we want to upgrade tillage, we're going to need something that has like 300 horsepower is like the least of anything which it would be kind of nice to have something bigger than what we have right now so I don't know we'll have to see and as far as planters go there's a lar big difference between this little 12 row and then this uh, 36 row so that's a little bit of a difference there so I kinda think if anything we should try to shoot for getting like this 9300 series because it's a big tractor and lots of horsepower and for not that much cost so i think we're gonna have to shoot for that well everyone i think that's gonna probably end it here for this one today i hope you guys enjoyed the video um we're getting closer hopefully to buying a tractor uh, I, I think the 9300 series will maybe be a little bit better for us now um, I think going with that, that idea is a little bit better because we can actually kind of get some bigger implements, whereas the MX series, we we don't really get much um, much room out of that to uh, expand our equipment. But I hope you guys enjoyed this video of American Farming, and I will see you all in the next one. What's going on, everyone? Model Deer Farmer with you today, back on American Farming. Today, we are going to be get going harvesting, well actually this morning, because it's uh, dark outside, but we made some big purchases on the farm, so we need to get harvesting, as I did not hit the right button to get in equipment, but we need to get harvesting, and so me doing that, you probably just saw some of our new equipment, but I am going to, oh, I don't have enough farm hands, because he's planting right now. We have the 1206 planting over here on the main field, as well as we bought another planter. So this tractor is over here planting corn on a new field that we bought. This is a very large field. Um, we'll go out here to the map. We purchased this big field over here, right by our uh, main farm, as well as the one right across right here we bought this field as well so we've definitely been making a lot of money um thought we needed to upgrade the farm a little bit so we got lots of fields now fair amount working on getting this field planted it's going to take him a little bit longer but also here we have a new purchase we have the 9380 tractor it's got a lot of horsepower and it's going to do the job pretty well in the tractor we do have a anhydrous applicator now um, to help put nitrogen down uh, so that's that's a good thing to have we got the manual attached here if we want to so that's pretty cool um, but this is gonna help us so we can run a helper whereas we can't run a helper with that spray or with, with that dry spreader and it's not a very great time so, I don't know how, what button, nope, nope, that's not the right button. Ooh, the game is laggy right now. Uh, okay, there we go, we're back in it. Now, we just knocked over a road sign there, but this uh, corn's getting a little bit tall here. But we're still probably going to uh, put anhydrous on it. It's way too tall to put anhydrous on it, but we're going to do it anyway once the helper gets done here so I can hire a helper on this. Um, because it's a large field. I had time going a little bit faster, but right now time's at one. Um, so we can hopefully get it all, get anhydrous put on before the corn is ready. Also right now you can see that we have 85 cents, which is why I really need to uh, get stuff harvested. We have the spreader over here. I got rid of the nitrogen, the urea that we had, and we're going to make turn this into our P&K rig. Um, 
gonna go back to putting some of that on but right now i guess we're gonna run the combine because we can only have two farm hands and they are both working right now so we're just gonna go harvest some corn need to get some corn harvested here because our hogs really need to put on a lot of weight yet before may uh, so that's another reason I kind of wanted to keep it on one uh, time on one right now just so we can get them fed out and get them ready for market because we need the money right now. We also made another purchase of a piece of equipment that I will show you guys here in a little while. Also the combine needs diesel but we don't really have money for that right now. We had a lot of money saved up and I kind of went on a spending spree and bought a lot of stuff here but... I think overall it's going to play out, going to help us out here. So we're just going to keep rocking and rolling on harvest and keep building ourselves back up. It would be kind of nice to have a 12 row corn head, but for a 12 row corn head, horsepower wise, we would need to get like the 70, I don't even know what the model is, the big, bigger, newer combine. I was hoping that we'd have enough horsepower with maybe just like upgrading the model on this older combine getting a bigger one like that but we're gonna have to go with like the 7140 or something if that's a model I don't really uh, completely know remember what that model is but about halfway full here in the grain tank and there we go the combine is full so that's the wrong button for the auger there we go got the auger out uh, we will tab over to oh that's major lag I have kind of noticed that we're getting a little bit more lag here every once in a while with some of this more equipment on here they are working on an update which i think is supposed to fix some things whoa we did not turn we turned too fast there so i'm hopeful that something will get kind of fixed there um because overall the phone i'm playing on should be able to handle the game pretty well unloading the combine there I have an Apple iPhone and on Farming Simulator 20 I run very high graphics settings because it, believe it or not when I run the graphics in high on that just on high or medium it lags like crazy but I stick it in very high and it runs very smoothly. So we got this load of corn here we're gonna get it brought over hey look it's our other purchase we bought this big land all field cultivator it's gonna kinda replace our disc um, because we can hook it up to the 9380 and get a lot more done. Uh, I thought that that would be a good, pretty good investment. Get the corn unloaded there. Now I do still like running the pickup on the gravity wagon here. I think it just, uh, it's faster and so it works a little bit better to, uh, carry grain back and forth. This thing also needs diesel, so we're gonna be spending a lot of money in diesel here once we get stuff going We're getting close only a couple more rounds over on this field then we'll be able to get our anhydrous started back to harvesting here definitely if you are playing american farming yourself i definitely do strongly recommend playing with like a xbox controller or something i uh i'm always using an xbox controller to uh, record these videos and I just think it's a lot easier to run the equipment sometimes. Uh, the transmission in this game just doesn't quite seem to work the best with my fat fingers on a small iPhone screen. So that's kind of the problem that I'm running into, but the Xbox controller makes it just like I'm playing Farm Sim normally, so I really do enjoy playing it this way. Combine is full again, so we'll take our wagon over there and unload it. Looks like our helper on our small corn planter, well, field, small corn field, that planter guy got done. So we're gonna put we're gonna put this helper on rows only since we got the headlands done now, and we'll go take care of getting him. Nope, that's the wrong button. Get him out of the field here. This field I already put anhydrous down on before we planted, so we're all good to go there. Fold that up, and for right now, we don't have anything else for this tractor to do, which it's out of almost out of seed too, so pretty much I think about this round of hogs is going to go all to inputs, it seems like. Our hogs right now are only 81 pounds, so we definitely need to get them eating some food here. Um, 
they got some food right now, so they should be eating. I don't know if they're gonna be ready by May though, unfortunately. We do have another load of corn that we can take up to him though. Well, looks like he's got just a little bit left here on the edge. Um, honestly, what I think I'm gonna do is just unhire the helper. If we miss just a little bit, it's not gonna matter. Honestly, I'm just gonna call it at that point. There's not very much over there yet. On a big field like this, I don't think it's worth it to make a whole nother pass just for that little tiny area for about two rows worth. So we're just going to finish it out here and then we'll be able to get our anhydrous going here on this field. And there we go, wrapped up planting for the year. So right now we'll just pull this out here onto the road because no one drives on it, so I'm not too uh, afraid. We're going to get our anhydrous rig unfolded here and ready to go. Put it down in the ground and get rolling. Now in real life you'd be no doing no good by putting anhydrous on um, at this point, but you know, this is a video game, so it doesn't really matter. So Headlands and Rose are going to get him going here on the field. There we go. Looks like the combine's about full too, so we'll have to take care of that. He decided that he wanted to do slanted rows, which in real life wouldn't really work because the rows were planted straight that way, but it all works out, I guess. It's also a lot easier to unload on the go um, with a controller if you can like not mess it up. But it seems to be a lot easier because you can kind of control the transmission a little bit better. It works out. Works pretty good. There we go. He is unloaded. Guess we better get this planter out of the way of the road here. We'll just bring it up onto the farmyard here and go park about the 1206 for now because we're not going to be needing these for a little while. We're going to turn the day speed up to 15 times now for a little while at least because we have a lot of feed in the hog barn right now so we're gonna try to get them fed up a little bit more they're at about 85 pounds right now hopefully we can get them up to a lot more we need them up to about 325 pounds before we are able to sell them well we could sell them before but we want to get up to 325 pounds to make the most profit well the hogs are almost up to a hundred pounds now so that's pretty good the game is just being really laggy today and I'm not Loving it, so I hope they come out with an update to uh, fix that. But we're gonna unload on the go again here because he's getting about full. We're gonna lag a lot. There we go, we got our load. I mean, we got our lag, and we'll get unloading it. So, with our whole hog operation, what I've been doing recently, and it seems to be working just fine. We're not using it, using the farrowing pen anymore to uh, get our wiener pigs out of there. What we're ending up doing is we're just, once I sell a load of hogs with the semi-truck, we from the livestock barn, we get a load of 86 wiener pigs, which is how many full-grown pigs can fit in that trailer. And then we'll bring those 86 wieners back here to our hog barn, feed them out, and then be able to haul them all 86 full trailer load at a time down to the sale barn and then just repeat the process over and over again I'm also wondering guys so our hogs here have a lot of um, manure like our manure is completely full on our hog barn now I'm wanting to know if it's worth it if we get a um, spreader manure spreader to spread the manure does the manure count as p and k phosphorus and potassium uh fertilizer in the game if, if it does i'd love that but i was wondering if anyone knows so if anyone knows about that let me know down in the comment section below our fertilizer rig is still working on the outside pass of the field he can only go about like six i think with this so that is kind of a downside, but at least he can go by himself and I don't have to do the fertilizing because I can't get a helper to work with this fertilizer spreader anymore. So I have to run the fertilizer spreader all by myself. And so that's one of the main reasons why I wanted to get this anhydrous rig because 
I was thinking that it's got like actual wings, so a helper should be able to actually do it where um, the spreader, there's kind of, it's kind of just an invisible spread width, uh, but we'll see how that works. The game is really laggy, and it is not making me very happy, but combine's still going here. Planners are just sitting. It's getting to be evening. And hogs are up to 120 pounds, so that's good to see from them. Still got plenty of food there in the silo, so I'm not too worried about it yet. Another load of corn, heading back to the hog barn. Now guys, just please keep in mind that if your video is lagging really bad, um, don't, don't think that it's your Wi-Fi or anything, or my editing. It is just simply the game right now is not it I don't know if it's because I bought some of this more equipment got a little bit more equipment sitting around I mean it's still not very much equipment but it is just it's lagging a lot here today but with that guys I'm probably gonna be wrapping up this video here so I hope you enjoyed if you did give the video a like um, also consider subscribing to the channel but if you have any comments or questions, or if you know what kind of um, fertilizer the manure shows up as for the game, let me do know down in the comment section below. If you have any ideas on anything that we should purchase next in the game, let me know. But thanks for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video, getting to see some of the new equipment. And I will see y'all in the next one. Hey, everyone. Model Deer Farmer with you today. We got a lot of stuff to do today. We have 85 pennies to our name right now. So we need to get rolling here. First thing, we need to get harvesting some more corn for our hogs so they can make weight by one month from now. They still need to gain about 25 pounds. Everything's about out of diesel. The combine's almost out of diesel. This corn planter is almost out of seed. The semi truck's kind of just chilling, waiting for our hogs to gain another 25 pounds. Our pickup truck is almost out of fuel, has a little bit of corn in it, but almost out of fuel. This rig's sitting good right now, but this thing's almost out of anhydrous too. So we're kind of down to the bare bones. We need to be able to make some profit here pretty soon because the farm is kind of about going bankrupt right now so we uh, are in a little bit of trouble but right now we're gonna get this guy going here hopefully you know what I was gonna have him do this little small field but for now I think we'll get him going on this bigger field get our fertilizer put down and also this thing counts as tillage too which that's kind of interesting huh maybe I could sell my cultivator but we'll get a helper going on this, see how he does. Maybe we don't need a cultivator if we do this. Huh. I, I'm really curious now because that would be kind of nice. I don't think the map tells us, but um, he's putting down nitrogen right now, so that's good. Maybe we don't need tillage. Maybe we can get rid of our tillage tool, that cultivator, because that would get us a fair amount of money here. That would end us up getting us a hundred and forty two thousand dollars so that may be an option here um, if we figure out that we can plant straight into that now we're we'll also have him waiting here we need to purchase some more PNK but I don't really have the money for it right now so it looks like he's harvesting he's gonna be about full here pretty soon so I think we're gonna have to get our pickup truck go grab a load and hope that we don't run out of diesel because the pickup truck is about out of fuel here. We also have this really big field here that we finished putting anhydrous down on. So that's going to be ready here pretty soon. The anhydrous bar does get rid of all um, of grown fully ready to harvest corn. So I guess it's kind of nice because it acts as a cultivator too. But we'll have to see here. Unloading the combine. Then we'll be able to go feed the pigs some more. I also would like to pick up a fertilizer spreader but I don't know if that's gonna work right now um, because we get about 20 grand for a load of pigs 
but I also need to spend some money on diesel, fertilizer, and seed right now. So I don't know if we'll be able to get that fertilizer spreader right now, but if we don't need a cultivator, we'll be definitely be able to pick up a fertilizer spreader here before you know it. Get that load unloaded. I kind of would just like to see if I can plant into that right after we have put anhydrous down. So I think we're going to take the tractor and planter over there just to try it out. And there we go. It is, it is taking care of that. So that is pretty cool. So I think we may be able to sell that cultivator, which is pretty nice. That just makes it one less thing we have to do here on the farm. So everything works out great. Well, guys, with a little bit of a turn of events here, we're going to be able to make a lot of money here. Sorry for the lag. Because this was going to be a pretty nice big tillage tool, but it's looking like we're not even going to need it. And if we do need to do tillage on anything, we still have our old disc that's over there in the shed. But it doesn't look like we're going to need it. So I think what we're going to do we are going to sell this thing. And there we go. We have $142,000 now from that. So I think what we can do, we can go ahead and fill this thing up all the way. You know, actually on second thought, I'm going to wait on that for a little bit because I got some other things I'm going to take care of first. Fill the pickup truck up with diesel. We got that taken care of, but I think, oh, the combine is full, so we're going to head on down there. Probably going to unload it here, and then I'm probably going to drive it. Well, we went through a telephone pole there. Then once we unload it, we're probably going to go ahead and take it up to the farmyard to get it fueled up here because I know that it is about empty, and I don't want it to run out because otherwise then we have to reset it to the shop. And then it is it takes a little while to drive it back. There we go, filling up a diesel. Now so the next thing I probably would like to upgrade on the farm here is our harvesting setup. But it looks like to get the bigger combine that we would need to run a 12 row, it's gonna cost us what for um, including the combine and the head like four hundred and forty thousand dollars. Now I know that our combine, I think we can get about 60,000 for, so that'd take us up to about $200,000 plus the corn head, but that's not quite going to get us to 440 yet. So that may be the next thing um, that we think about upgrading here on the farm. Or actually instead of that, we could upgrade, sell both of our planters and end up maybe getting a bigger tractor and a bigger planter, but I don't know, I'm undecided yet. All I know right now is we need to get our combine going back here, harvesting corn so we can keep making money. We're going to go ahead and take the 1206 and get it filled up with diesel here and then probably take it into town to get filled up on seed. So guys, it is May now and so we are going to need to be getting selling our hogs here pretty soon, but they still got like... 20 pounds to gain and so I was hoping I hope that we can make it gain 20 pounds before the day is done and also guys I was thinking about spreading P and K on our crops because we can get better yield but honestly for the work of since I can't hire a helper I'd have to run it myself so I don't really know if it's worth it at this point and so then if we don't do that, we could sell off this spreader and get a little extra cash from that. Come over here, get the combine unloaded. There we go, combine is unloaded, so we'll go and take this up to the hog barn. And now at this point, all of our hogs are all at 325 pounds. So we're gonna load those all up and get heading into town. There we go, we got $242 for each of our animals there sell. So now that made us almost $21,000. So that's pretty darn good. I'm gonna come over here. We're gonna end up buying 86 more wiener pigs so we can get feeding those out for next year. $900, not too bad. There we go on our way back to the farm.
And there we go, we'll get unloaded, those all unloaded, so they can start feeding out here. The combine is full, so we're going to have to head off over that way. I think we have enough ground now that we can pretty much hopefully keep the hogs fed at all times, because I also believe that I do have some corn in the grain bins sitting waiting. Yes, we do have 617 bushel in the grain bins, so we'll be able to keep that in there in case we need it. Looks like the tractor finished up the anhydrous over here. I think with what the anhydrous we have left, I think we can knock out this little field over here, set it down and get rolling. We're gonna hire a helper on that and they will get that field knocked out for us. And since we decided not to put P and K down, I think we're gonna go and hit, go ahead and sell the fertilizer wagon. We can get 10k out of that. So I think we're gonna sell that. And there we go, we're up to hundred and seventy thousand dollars. I think we are gonna go ahead and purchase this fertilizer spreader here. And we're going to, manure spitter I mean, sorry. We're going to try this and see uh, how it works out to spread our hog manure. See if it is any good. So we'll go ahead and purchase that. We may not go pick that up until next video. So stay tuned for that. We will go pick up the fertilizer spreader next time. Manure spreader, gosh dang it. Sorry, I cannot keep the name straight here but the combine's gonna about be full here um we're gonna probably go and load him once more here we're getting plenty of corn now we are i think our farming operation's doing pretty good we're running about all the hogs we can through it our operation right now trying to stay on top of things but getting a good amount through this field halfway or so I think he's going to be full here pretty soon. Definitely that big field over there is going to take a really long time to harvest with this eight row corn head, but he's full, so we pull under there, get taking this load off of him. I would kind of like to purchase a grain cart maybe, maybe the Brent V series grain cart, but let me know what you think down in the comment section. If you think that that would be a good investment for us to make, or if you think we're just fine running back and forth with the gravity wagon like we are right now or do we go up to maybe a Brent gravity wagon and increase our capacity a little bit let me know what you think down in the comment section below our hog building is full of corn for the time being so I think I'm just gonna go ahead and put the rest of this load over here in our silo maybe if we end up getting something bigger eventually and we have extra corn we can just go ahead and sell that at the elevator too um, as far as we, so we could get, like I'm thinking maybe the V1100 maybe, but that's $132,000. Or we could just get something simple like this. We could always get it a little bit bigger, like the 657 maybe. Um, we could get that, whatever color we want. That'd be 36000 Or we could always just get a semi-trailer and be able to haul a lot more to the elevator that way. So I don't know. I'm undecided yet, so let me know what you think down in the comment section below. He's taking care of this field right now. The uh, little farm all is kind of just stuck now. It doesn't have much much uh, jobs to do around here, but it's I don't really think it's worth selling that thing off because it's only going to get us like $2,000, so honestly, it just might keep it around here. The hogs, they're up to about 54 pounds now, so not much growth yet but that should change here in a little while they got plenty of corn to feed down on so we're gonna head back out to the field here kind of just wait on him but i think that's gonna be it for today's video guys hope you enjoyed we made a little bit of money because we found out that we don't need to do tillage anymore because that anhydrous bar does all the tillage for us so that's pretty nice um so we made a little bit of money there, able to spend some money with the manure spreader. Hey, I said it right that time. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video today. Um, if you did, give it a like. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. If you have any comments or questions, you can go ahead and leave those down in the comment section below. Um, but 
thanks for watching everyone and I will see y'all in the next one. Hey, what's going on everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today. We just got the combine unloaded, so we are punching out corn harvest here. We're gonna take this load up. I can't remember, I think the hog barn is pretty much full on corn, uh, but we are going to put a load in there and just check and see for sure as I crash into the, uh, the hog silo. So that's always good to do. See if it takes the load of corn here. Doesn't take the whole thing. There's a little bit left there in the bottom. So we'll probably just dump that over here in the silo for the time being. Uh, if I can actually drive right. Almost 700 bushels in that bin. Also, the 9380 ended up getting done on this field over here. And I was going to take them over to the field over there just to have them ready for once the combine's down that field. But it looks like we're about out of anhydrous. So we're going to run this thing down over to the co-op, not too far away, just on the other side of the farm. And we are going to get this thing filled up and ready to go for the next field. One thing that I don't like about this anhydrous applicator is that if you have it on a helper and then you quit the game and you restart again, the helper will keep going once you restart the game but the anhydrous bar will be all folded up like this and won't come back down. So then he's just driving along doing nothing in the field. It's a little bit annoying, but just gotta make sure that you remember to catch it each time. And there we go, we found, nope, that was the wrong button. We just sold $110 worth of NH3. So we get that all filled up, full load. It's gonna take two or three grand, I think it was. Maybe it's more than that, it seems to be more than that. Oh, no, 2400 bucks, not too bad for a double tank. It's going to last us a little while at least, hopefully to be able to do the field that the combine's in right now as well as the really big field once we harvest that. Looks like the edge of this field is also starting to be ready to harvest, so we got a lot of stuff getting ready to harvest here all at about the same time. Combine's only so big though, and this tractor's only so fast. Okay, we got him parked down there. Whoa, we were <laughs> that threw the front end of that in. I just tank up a little bit. Combine's about full again. It's hard to keep up with this thing, but I am also going to take the 1206 here as we run into the fence. Um, we're going to probably get this thing uh, hired on a helper over here on this field just to kind of keep things moving and we can't run, we don't have anything else for the anhydrous to run on right now, so why not just have a helper running on this cornfield for the time being. Now we'll grab this, we'll go unload the combine harvester. He's getting closer to being done with this field, but still got a little ways to go, and the grain tank isn't the largest thing on this machine. And I kind of would like to get a bigger gravity wagon, just because this gravity wagon doesn't have enough room for full two loads out of the combine which it would be kind of nice we wouldn't have to make as many trips then okay we got him all set up and ready to go so once the corn is finished harvesting on this field we'll be able to get him going right away he's har planting he's planting not harvesting man that that this is a combine right here let me tell you folks this is a farmall 1206 combine if you ever seen one we're gonna check the hogs here. The hogs are about 114 pounds. They're doing pretty good. And they aren't using too much food right now. But they did just turn over to hogs. Um, they don't eat as much food when they're wiener pigs. Um, they take less food. So now that they just turned hogs, they turned hogs at three months. Now they're gonna be using a lot more food. So we'll get this taken up and unloaded up there in the hog barn. Right now I'm kind of left with nothing to do, so I guess we're just going to take the 706 here and work on planting this small field, because it shouldn't take too long, and I mean, right now I don't have anything else to do, because the harvester's rolling, I'm not going to start in hydrus yet, and that guy's working on planting over there, so we're just going to plant away. And just like that again, the harvester is full, so we're going to take care of that here, and then we'll be able to get back to planting. Um, honestly, planting in this game is not my favorite thing to do. So, uh, 
If I could get out of that for a while, that's great. Back to corn planting. Honestly, what I've been thinking while I'm just corn planting here is I think, especially with that big field coming up and we have a little bit more driving distance to go back to the silo, I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna end up purchasing one of those Brent gravity wagons um, that's like 650 bushels or something. So we'll be able to haul a lot more and not have to make as many trips back to the bin site. We will do that once we finish planting this field though, which may take a while. I don't really want to jinx it today, but so far we have had a lag free day, which is pretty good because the past two episodes I've recorded have had horrible lag. The game is not doing that today, so I am uh, thankful for that for the time being. And there we go, we wrapped up with planting that cornfield, so I think we're just going to park this tractor up here for now. And I'm going to find our pickup truck here. We're going to go unload this, actually, we're going to go unload the combine because that just showed up that it needed to be emptied. So we're going to do that. There we go, we got a full load on the kill bros, so we're going to take this up to the farm. I'm guessing the hogs probably need food by now because it's been a while since we've taken a load of corn over so we'll get that dumped in there and then I think what we're gonna do is we're just gonna set the kill bros off to the side somewhere on the farmyard we're not gonna sell it um, because it really doesn't get us more than like two or three grand anyway but just in case we want to have it around for something in the future and I think we're going to going I think we're gonna purchase one of these Brent gravity wagons. I'm gonna make it up to the 657. I don't really, I, I don't like the duels on the 757. So I think we're gonna go with a 657, hold 650 bushels. I think we're gonna go with red because um, all of our equipment's red. So 36,000, that was the wrong button. <laughs> Um, $36,600 though, purchase, yes, we will purchase that, so I think we're just going to set the wagon over here for now, if I can remember the right button to, there we go, and now we are going to head down over to the shop and get our gravity wagon picked up. And here we are rolling up to the store now. Oh, oh yeah, I kind of forgot that we bought a uh, manure spreader. I told you guys that we were going to test that out this video. Well, I kind of forgot about that until just now. But we'll get the gravity wagon hooked up here. I wonder, now this all depends on my backing up abilities here, which in real life are fairly decent, but in a video game are not great with these things. Let's see, can we get swung that way? Nope, we're a bit off. Come on. Swing it that way. Jeez, these do not turn sharp. Cannot jackknife these like in real life. Come on. Hey, there we go. We got our manure spreader hooked up to the pickup here. And sorry, every time I mentioned this thing last video, I called it a fertilizer spreader. It is not a fertilizer spreader. This thing's a manure spreader. So we're going to get heading back to the farm with our new huge gravity wagon now compared to uh, the pickup truck here along with our manure spreader that we, we will have to test out sometime. I don't know if we're going to get to that today. Um, and I also didn't really think about it. I don't remember how much horsepower it has, but I think I got to put one of the planter tractors on there. Um, cause I think the little farm all H does not have enough power. I am excited to, uh, test out this new gravity wagon. I think we're going to be able to hold, two or three loads on it from the combine, which will be super nice. While we have the manure spreader hooked up at least, let's try and figure out if we can load it up here. I think this is where we pick up the manure. I think all the manure from both barns goes here. 
I did I see something? I thought I saw something pop up there. Oh no, we went past it now. Uh, there we go. I try. Oh, there we go. Now that did not load up as much as I thought it was going to. That just pulled the manure from the farrowing pen and not from the hog barn. Now it says manure, but I'm wondering if all of the manure from this barn you have to like use as slurry. Which would kind of suck, but I'm pretty sure. Nope. We got, nope, dang it. Let's see here. Is it gonna fill up? Nope, it's probably all gotta be slurry from this barn. So we might, I don't know. We'll deal with that another day. Um, and I forgot, when you got multiple things attached, we probably have to manually disconnect it here which is kind of a cool feature that I haven't really showed you guys yet but we need to come back here and we hit the button on the side there and it disconnects that because from the pickup truck all we could disconnect is the gravity wagon I hit the wrong button so now we are somewhere else and the combine is not doing anything right now so that's always great to see okay why are we just sitting here you're not full come on Helen farmhand Helen Drive. Um, rows only. Will you drive now? Yes, but will you turn the right way? That's the question. I was kind of hoping to have about a full load of corn by the time we got back with this to be able to test it out, but he really hasn't gotten like anything done because he was just sitting there after we unloaded him, I think. Unloading a little bit here, though. It's barely just filling up. This thing's gonna have so much more storage compared to our old wagon. Our old wagon had about 250 bushel capacity. This one, I believe, has 650. This guy's still planting away over here. Got a couple rounds left after this. Get finished up on this field. I was hoping that that combine would get done a little bit quicker so we could get this 9380 going here, but it's taking a little bit longer the combine to get finished up with this field but I think what I'm gonna do so I'm just going to get rid of the helper there and I think I'm just gonna harvest the rest of the field by myself because I feel like it only a couple more rounds left here on the field and there we go wrapped up on this field here we're gonna dump the rest of it into the gravity wagon here and I'm probably gonna get the harvester going on the big field it's going to take him a long time to get that field harvested. It's going to be a long task. Lots of harvesting and lots of hauling here. We'll take him over to this corner of the field here. So he can get started on this. I think it's like 25 acres or something. So it's a pretty big field um, compared to what we've been running. So we'll get him hired there. And he is off now that all what we had left in this field is just that tiny little bit in there so we're probably just gonna park him over here on the edge of the field and wait until the combine needs to be unloaded now with him being done we could start a helper on this but we can only have two helpers at a time unfortunately so we're gonna have to let him finish here or we can just stop him I'll finish planting that field We'll get him running on putting in hydrous down on that field while I get the rest. There's only like maybe two passes at most left on this field. And then we'll be all wrapped up with that. Well, everyone, we're just about to wrap up planting this cornfield here. The harvester's still going, just going on the outside pass. I think he's full by now. Um, and the anhydrous rig is running over in the field next to us, but just about to wrap up that field now we'll get this folded up here and parked up on the yard but that's probably gonna be it for this one guys hope you enjoyed if you did hit that like button it helps out the video a lot also 
consider subscribing to the channel helps the channel out a lot and i want to thank you all for watching if you have any comments or questions you can leave those down in the comment section below but i hope you have a great day and i hope you enjoyed the video so i will see you all in the next one what's going on everyone model deer farmer back with you today we are on american farming we uh the combine is still over here on this really big field um because it's taking a little while so we're gonna get him unloaded here into the gravity wagon here quickly and then so he can get back into it it is so nice not having to make as many trips back to the bin site with this thing really helps out as i run into the combine because that's a good thing to do to an expensive machine still got the little farm all here sitting taking care of feeding our hogs here um, we pulled some out of the bin site so we'll just always have that sit here and then once we bring the bigger gravity wagon back to the farm we'll just dump it straight into the bin site and then use this to take the feed over to the hogs there we go another full load of corn out of the bin site and ready to head over to our hog barn get unloading this load here see how much feed they need there we go that's about all the feed they're going to take right now combine's still going away here and i hit the wrong button um we got the planter still going here finishing up here on this field almost getting to the end here which right now we really don't have anything else for the planter to do so i mean it doesn't really matter how long this takes because right now we're waiting on the combine the combine is slowing down the operation so that's definitely going to be, need, be needing i can't talk today that's definitely going to need to be our next purchase here on the farm is to upgrade our combine take a look here at our hogs they're about 200 pounds right now so they'll be ready to go by the time uh, may comes around probably gonna need to drive this down here because our combine doesn't make it too long before it needs to be filled up there we go we're gonna unload on the go right now keep the combine rolling because we definitely need to keep this combine the most efficient that we possibly can right now because just looking around here by the farm we have all three of these cornfields ready to go to be harvested so definitely need to get rolling on that and our anhydrous rigs kind of just chilling here because not much we can do right now sorry guys if this isn't the most interesting content right now we're kind of just trying to go along build up the farm and harvesting is taking a long time so we're gonna come over here and get the combine unloaded because he's about full i mean there's nothing really else that we can do there he got full the uh, corn planter on the other field just wrapped up so we uh, don't need to worry about him. So he finished up planting the cornfield over here. We really don't have anywhere else for him to go right now. I guess we could just go put him. Man, that is really bad stand right there. I don't know why it does that in some spots. I'm honestly probably going to take the planter over this and just patch some of this in here myself because I don't know why the game does that sometimes. But sometimes it just like puts a really bad stand of crop in some place i don't understand the reason for it probably a glitch um but i don't know why it does that it is a little bit annoying so if anyone knows how to fix it or uh knows why it does it let me know down in the comment section below okay i don't know guys i'm about to give up on trying to replant this field here because it keeps showing up like this and this is so annoying because at this point I might as well just like completely replant the field because there's like nothing here it's stupid I don't know why it's doing this and every little spot just keeps on changing to that I mean at least over there where the corn's in kind of like a diagonal line it's like there's at least something but this area here where there's literally nothing and it just keeps this area where there's literally nothing And I swear, Siri, go away. I swear, there's nothing here. And it's getting very annoying. There's like two plants there. Like our population is like one, is like 20 seeds per acre. I don't know what is up with it. Like the outside pass around this whole field looks fine. 
But we get to this and it's just, I don't, I don't even know what's going on. And while I'm trying to fix that, I'm also trying to unload this combine so we can keep him rolling. Things are not going very efficient here. If we keep growing corn at the stand count that we're getting right now, we may lose the farm because we cannot support the whole farm off of corn that is literally doing this. This is, this is stupid. I don't know what the issue is and it's kind of annoying because literally just spent all the time to plant this whole field and I pretty much have to plant it all again because it keeps doing this. I mean literally look at this stand. It is absolutely horrible. It's been doing stuff like this before but I've kind of been ignoring it because it's looked like that stuff over on that side where there's at least something but there's literally nothing here and I don't understand it. I mean literally it's about changing to this about as fast as I can plant it right here. This is when it would be nice to have a way bigger planter. Right now we have two of these things so I think our next focus needs to be on a harvester because that is just, it's slowing down our operation right now. We could have two planters running because I have two planters, but the combine is not moving fast enough. Well, I also need to take this uh, gravity wagon load back over to the bin site here because to be honest, the combine is gonna be full anytime now again um, because it doesn't have a very big grain tank. Normally, I like to invest in land before equipment on these types of games just so we have more land to be able to produce more crop to overall make more money. But we are at the point now where we have plenty of land and the equipment, the combine, is the thing slowing us down right now. I mean, it, he, he makes it like not even a full pass on this field without fill, filling up. So that definitely tells me that we need a bigger combine with a bigger grain tank, which is kind of why I'm looking at like the 8240. So 8240 ends up having a pretty big grain tank um, and we can get a 12 row head with that. Meanwhile, back over here at the cornfield, we still uh, have no better of a stand count than we, what we did. So that's great to know. And then you'll have other random areas of the field that will be completely perfect and grow every single stock in the whole area. But then a Passover, you got crappy stuff again. So I don't understand why this is doing this or what the reason to it is. Um, it's it's kind of stupid if you ask me. Well, I think once we finish up this pass of the field here, we're just gonna call it on this field. It's gonna do whatever it's gonna do yield-wise. I don't really know. I don't even know if this stuff that we're planting right now is gonna come back and do anything better than the two stalks of corn that it was uh, doing on the rest of it. So we're just gonna have to see, probably won't get much yield off of it. Um, so, you know, that that's great. But we'll probably end up getting this parked over here behind the anhydrous applicator because that will be the next step after we get that done. And just like that, all of our hogs are up to 325 pounds so we're going to load all of those up into our trailer and we are going to get those drove down as we run into the farm all m i think it's an m we're going to get this drove down to the animal dealer um still definitely going to be a while before we sell them yet but at least we'll have it down there for when we do decide to sell them it is kind of nice running this pickup on the gravity wagon instead of having a tractor and grain cart, especially for this field where we have to go all across the entire field like every time to unload him. So that does help things out a little bit, not take as much time. Honestly, what I think I'm going to start doing here because I don't really have anything else to do at the moment is to start running anhydrous here. Um, I'm going to come back and get that little bit of corn later. Um, I don't really want to unhire the helper right now so we're just going to go off to the side of it. But we're going to start doing this just to be doing something as we lag through the roof just so we uh, keep going on something here. This definitely is a little bit of a slow task here running this anhydrous um, six mile an hour. At least we got some width to it but still six mile an hour just it it takes a little while. 
as does everything with this game it seems but i guess we'll uh, get to having a bigger farm here eventually we can really start getting to a bigger farm size once we get a new combine because if you haven't learned from me saying it 20 other times in this video the combine is slowing us down i will definitely say that but you know at least i have a really big tractor that uh you know does uh, anhydrous application lags a whole bunch and uh does tillage all at the same time that really helped out the farm minus the lagging part i could go without that but um yeah and just like that the combine is full but we are going to run all the way to this end of field to unload the combine there we go took care of that back to putting gas on definitely not going to take us very long to get caught up to the combine here well with that guys i hope you enjoyed today's video on american farming we didn't get as much done as i was really hoping to get done today um but we uh at least got to run the anhydrous bar a little bit and get a little bit more of this field done this field is taken a while and the combine's probably about going to be full again but i hope you guys enjoyed today's video if you did give it a like as well as consider subscribing to the channel also um if you have any comments or questions or if you know why the corn is doing that over there having a real crappy stand let me know down, know down in the comment section below but i hope you enjoyed today's video i want to thank all of you for watching and this is model deer farmer and i'll see y'all in the next one what's going on everyone model deer farmer back with you today on american farming we're gonna hop up in here to our pickup truck with our brent gravity wagon because we got some work to do here today we need to go unload the combine right now because he is full um, and then, and then we, uh, we, we did get finished up with the really big field all the way over there. And then we did the little tiny field by the farm. So now we are getting into this field and we are, we're getting the acres knocked out here. So then, uh, we're going to get to planting these fields and then hopefully get the combine on to another one. So we'll just leave that there for now. This one, this rig still just sitting here. Um, the anhydrous rig, we just got this little field done as well as we have the big field done. So that's all ready to go. Um, we have the farm all sitting here. We don't have any hogs in the barn right now because, oh, this guy doesn't want to do his job. Um, we don't have any hogs in the barn right now because... We don't have any hogs in the barn right now because they are all in a trailer waiting to be sold here in the next month. We also have the 1206 working on the huge big field, so it's gonna tackle that over the next long while. But the semis here, we just gotta wait for it to change the month over. Uh, so we'll be all ready to go for that once we get there. Kinda busy on the farm right now. We're not over on the big field anymore for harvest, which is kinda nice. Kinda nice to be closer back around to the farmyard here. We'll just park that there for now. And honestly, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this other rig, planting rig, and I'm gonna go ahead and plant this field right now because really we have nothing else to do, so why not just get this going planting? Um, we can't have any more helpers, so I'm just gonna have to do it myself, but we'll get it taken care of here. It is kind of nice that since we have two planters here, we can run two planters if we need to, to catch up. Um, especially when we're over on that big field. It is nice. I can knock out some of these smaller fields here with this planter and then we can keep caught up to the combine. Right now, combine is not having any trouble keeping up with, or the combine is running slow enough that the planters don't have any problem catching up. Um, but once we get a bigger combine, hopefully um, we'll have these planters working out a little bit more. Also, it is May, so I'm going to try and see 243. That is a pretty gosh darn good amount. So we're going to sell all of those. That's 19000 for those. That was, that was pretty good money. We'll go ahead and get our wieners picked up here. 86 of them. Purchase. $952. There we go. We'll get heading back to the farm with these, get them put. Oh, don't worry about that. 
We'll get these uh, taken back to the farm though, and that sign didn't get ran over either. I don't know what you're talking about. But we'll get these taken back to the farm, put them over in the hog barn, and get feeding them out. I know we have full corn in the barn right now, as well as we got like 3,000 bushels in our grain bin set up right now, so we can probably take a load in of corn just to uh, just to sell here pretty soon. Um, make a little bit extra profit that way. We still got a ways to go to be able to get that combine picked up. And there we go, we'll get all of those unloaded. And now the combine is full again, so we're gonna have to run the gravity wagon here, down here. I love that we can fit way more than one load on the wagon now compared to that Kill Bros. It is just a lot nicer not having to go dump in between every single load. I think we can fit like three or four loads here on this wagon. We'll get him unloaded. This will be the second load on the wagon. So that manure spreader over there that we picked up the other day, I uh, kind of messed up and realized that it requires 140 horsepower. And both the 1206 and the 1066 have 120 so we're like 20 horsepower short, so the only tractor that we have that would be able to pull that is the 9380. Um, so we may have to hold out right now for using that until we uh, until we get a little bit more in-between size tractor. But I also would like to know if I can get manure out of that big hog barn there, or if I have to pull that out as slurry, because... I would love to just be able to pull it out as manure because it says manure in the menu and uh, I don't really use the farrowing pen anymore so it would be nice to be able to get uh, manure out of the hog barn. I love being able to run these older international tractors. They look really nice. I, I love the stripe on this series of tractor. So it is pretty cool to uh, be able to uh, run this thing in game. It looks really good. I like that they have a lot of older equipment in this game. That's not something that farming simulator games have really done a lot. And I really like it. I really like some of the older equipment, especially when it's good American looking equipment. That was kind of the issue with the 4755 and 7810 and um, farming simulator. I liked that it was older equipment, but I didn't really like that it was European because I know what the equipment looks like in America and that's old American farm equipment so I was a little bit disappointed but this game equipment wise has not disappointed. Other than the one thing that I wish there's a little bit different um, planter in between a 12 row and a 36 row because the next biggest planter from the one that we have right here is a 36 row that's three times the size of this and a lot more expensive. So I do wish that maybe there's a different planner in between, um, like a 16 or a 24 row, but maybe we'll get there eventually. I know the game's still kind of new and gonna be getting some updates equipment wise throughout the beginning of its time here. And there we go, just wrapped up on that field. So that is all planted and ready to go. So we'll probably just, uh, Park this thing off to the side right here for the next time we need it. And I saw that the combine was full, so we need to grab the gravity wagon. Hey, it's not too far away. So that's two loads on it right now. I think it almost fills up with like three loads, so we'll probably go and load it after this. There we go, three loads on the wagon. We could probably fit one more, but just because we're getting kind of up there, I am gonna go dump this up here. Uh, also, we're, we're just close, so uh, why not? We're going to fill up the hog barn here in case they uh, need any food, and then the rest will probably just go into our grain bins for now. While we're not doing much here, I am going to take the 9380 down over the co-op probably to go fill up our anhydrous tanks because they are getting a little bit low. So just to stay on top of it here before we get real busy with it again, we're gonna go take it and get these things filled up. And there we go, we're filling up with NH3, getting our anhydrous ammonia filled up. And there we go, $1,800 of that. We'll head on back to the farm. Looks like our hogs are about 80 pounds and almost out of the wiener stage and going to be up into normal hogs here. 
I think what I am going to do right now, just for the heck of it, I'm going to load up a full load of corn out of our bin here, and I'm going to go sell it. We have some extra corn right now, so I'm just going to see where we can go sell it at. Markets are pretty good right now. Once it changes over to July, they'll be the best, um, but pretty good here right now there we go got our full 650 bushels of corn we're gonna run this down to the co-op and see how much money we can make there we go it's telling us we can get about four grand for our entire trailer load here of corn so i don't really know if we're making more money if we'd make more money just selling our crop or if we end up making more money by feeding it to the hogs and running that operation but there is four grand so we will head back on over to the farm. Guess we'll head down here by the combine. So it looks like he'll be about full here pretty soon. There we go. He's full. So we'll go ahead and pull under here right now. But I can't get the right way. So it's going to take us a little while. There we go. We're unloading the combine on the go here. Um, but that's probably going to be about it for this one, guys. Um, not much that went on today. Kind of just running, getting corn harvest done. We got moved off of the big field, so now we're kind of going a little bit more fast-paced, it seemed like. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, give it a like. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. That would mean a lot to me. But I hope you guys enjoyed. If you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. Thanks for watching today, guys. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you all in the next one.